Well, I did it again, guys. You got to see what I got. Yeah, I know. I got 11 truck projects, and uh, I've got that car that I want to do a body swap on, and I got the 69 Javelin I want to work on, but I also had to get this. Not much of a viewer or anything, is there? No. <laughs> pretty nice. <laughs> I love the Delaware. Yep. Anyway, this is what we found. 70 Cadillac. And for the most part, it doesn't look too bad. We're looking pretty solid as a car. It's even got rubber on it. And what else has it got? Let's see, we want to look underneath a little bit. That frame don't look bad. There's no rust there, a little bit under that door. Oh, that door's not bad. It's got a little scab here. We have to take care of that. This car seems to be complete. I don't think I'll make a driver out of this car pretty darn quick. Where are they, Con? This is the worst part about it, this dent in the hood. It does have the skirts and they look sick. So, where the bees at? <laughs> Always looking for bees, huh? Man, that door's heavy. Oh that, boy, my arm. Oh, bees. Found the bees. You're fine. Yeah, you're allergic. <laughs> oh, it is a coupe. It, it would be a hard top. Yeah, the hard top. Okay. I guess the it's a sedan hard top. A sedan post car would be a pretty rare find, actually. Is it? Yeah. They're rare. Hey, look, 70 shot manual. Yeah, that's good too. Let's get it out and give it a real good looking. He's gonna. That vinyl top scares me some. And it scares you? It doesn't scare me at all. Not enough. It's guess. gonna go away pretty quick. Oh, it's got a locking column. I didn't know they had, didn't realize they had that in '70. '70 is the first year they started. First doing year that locking lock. column. At least in low power world, it was. You're gonna. You have holes here. Yeah, I know. You get that a lot with a with a bad with top. Vinyl. But on that side, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, this side's good. Yeah, you could. And I think that's what caused the rot, the rot in the trunk, because there's a hole in the trunk. It goes right through. Right? Yeah. It ain't bad. It ain't terrible. I don't think it's terrible at all. Yeah. As far as the uh, East Coast car goes. Yeah, the bane of the East Coast here. I think it's the jewel of the Nile here. <clears throat> looks like the engine bay's complete. What's the oil look like? Let's check it. Right up there and looks clean. Settles out over time though, you know? That's true. The dirt goes to the bottom. The dirt, dirt goes to the bottom. But, I, hey, I your, can't even get that open. Your hood lip is a little crusty, but it's not rotten yet. Yeah. So you could treat all of that up. What'd you say about shims? Look at the fender shims. <laughs> that, I think that's factory. Factory fender I mean, shims? I, I really do. I know on like my Ford truck, they shim them like crazy. Yep. They really do. Shim shiminy, shim shiminy, shim shim shiru. <laughs> that's how they get the perfect lines. Hook onto it and pick it up a little. We'll take a look underneath it. This thing is in surprisingly good shape. There's a little rust on that bottom fender, putty blowing out. But for the most part, the lips are good, everything's good. Up underneath is good. Yeah, we're taking this one. And this is the other Cadillac. This one we're going to stay away from. <laughs> so we're going to go pull a tailgate for the old F100. We found a really nice skate. You never know what you're going to find when you're out scanning around the junkyard. 800 of these old, old cars. It's just cool. I don't even know what half these things are to be honest once again it's a pretty nice tailgate for our area it's yeah everything comes with that disclaimer right yeah the here. disclaimer is we're in northeast pa in southern new york and things are what they are all right excellent they come with it <laughs> Damn, i get the hinges too right <laughs> you want more money for the hinges tell shrug. connor will pay you <laughs> <laughs> he already knows me better than that don't he <laughs> Half hour from home. Half hour from home. It's definitely not too rotten. But we just got, uh, that was the nicest thing in that junkyard. It was. I walked by it like 10 minutes before you did and I, I noticed it was, it was three inches higher than everything else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's how you know. That's, that, that is how you know. You take a look at something, you see that it's not sunk in a ground 25 years. So he said it was there about three years. It's I told you probably two. No, it's not a cream puff, but. I think it's been sitting up there for three or four years. I want to drive it. It is. I'd like to clean it out and see if we can get it running. That's what the whole point of it is. Yeah. I think it's going to run sweet. Everything's there. Everything's there. I might put a paint job on it. <laughs> I'll make it look like a brand spankity new Cadillac. You need like three gallons. <laughs> it is a lot of real estate. It's a green color, but it's not the uh, not the awful green color. No, it's not a hideous green. It's, it's, for, it's like forest dark green. green. That's yeah. forest green, I think. It's a pretty green, actually. Oh well. I would have ordered one that color back then if I was old and rich. Black. 
black, black, blackity black, black. Just paint it black? Yeah. Well, I'll clean up. I ran up that hill twice. Well, wow, now you're bragging about your physical condition. Yeah, you know, pretty much in shape still. Well, I rode down it twice. <laughs> <laughs> I rode up it and down it. I could have done it, but I didn't want to sweat so much. Yeah. So I got the skirts off. All right, we got a little bit of rust here. But you know what? It's surface rust, Connor. So we're going to start pressure washing this thing and cleaning it up and try to evict whatever the heck did that. <laughs> and that. <laughs> uh, this might just be the Empress's new ride. There you go. We're riding in style one of these. Huh? What were you going to call it? Corella de Ville. <laughs> <laughs> Probably can't. That's a copyright infringement mark. That somebody already has that name. Uh, yeah. All right. I guess we better get cleaning. That's our next big thing on this. Let's see what it takes to get this vinyl top off. Not a whole lot. <laughs> kind of might be able to pressure wash it off. Look at that, Mark. Nothing to it. It's almost wet and gooey. In it. It looks really good wet. Put the gloss on it. 99 was the last time this on the road. Okay, I popped this gas cap. It doesn't smell bad. I don't know, could have 20 year old gas in there? I was gonna take a hose and suck it out. Connor's pretty excited about uh, putting, getting a battery in it and firing it up. I wanna see if the windows will go up and down. Connor, you remember all that controversy you and I went through with the Mustang, how you wanted to do this, that, and the other thing? Well, yeah, because that was for a customer, and he was already picky. But, well, I'm a customer. I'm pretty picky. Yeah, you know, whatever. <laughs> You're not picky if you bought this thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not funny. Okay, so let's go through what uh, what we do here. Check the oil. oil. There's oil in it. Green antifreeze. <laughs> I kick it. Here, let me get it. You're oh, I got it. Single-handed there. I'm pretty manly though. So it's got <gasps> cool look how green that is. It's beautiful. And it's got oil. You want to pull, pull the dipstick for the transmission? It's on this side. Let's see what that looks like. It's pretty dang red. Ew, it's a little light pink. Let's see, does it smell burnt? No, it smells beautiful. Mm. Oh, it tastes good too. Hadn't slipped at all. <laughs> okay, points. So that'll probably be our Achilles heel right there. No way. What? Points are the best. So, well, as far as we know, this hasn't run. He had the car for three years. Yeah, three like six. That's yeah, they, black. they've got them wrong. Here's our negative. It's red. Okay. Just to confuse us. And the only really rotten thing is the battery box. So. Well, is this long so you can flip them, switch them? Let me route that again, make sure it does is the one that goes on the starter. Yeah, it is. Okay, so it's going to the starter, positive. so that's positive. What's going on? Lights on, door open. Up, oh, buzzers. We're just start it. Yeah, dude. All right. Okay, the engine temp buzzer's on, so something's screwy. There's probably, there's probably some wires crossed, so we gotta watch out for that. God, I don't think we want to leave the battery on without this being attended until we find all the wires. This thing's probably got a full tank of gas in it for all I know. Let's see. These were so easy to suck gas out of. Not that I ever did it. Nefariously, mind you. So I pushed a hose all the way down in the tank, pulled it back out, and it came out dry. The windows don't work. The windows don't work. They probably do with the key on. I tried it with the key on. Whoop, you're full. <laughs> what? What gave it away? <sighs> I'm a little Damn. upset the lid, the nut is missing off the air cleaner that lid. That is pretty depressing. Put the lid back on, I'll see if it starts. We'll crank this sucker. We'll see if it starts. Why don't you start it? I'm not gonna even put the lid back on. Yeah, put the lid on, in case it flashes. And it blows the lid. Yeah, I'd rather have it blow the lid off. <laughs> <sighs> Here you go. You gonna start it? Yeah, of course. I don't wanna be in the way of the belts flying off, but okay. Let's see if we get fire in the hole. I think it's sitting there, but I'll start it. Hold it. Pump it. Just give it like two pumps. Yep. Uh, yeah. The linkage sticks. It just stuck. That's a good thing to figure out before you're... Before we start it? Start. Maybe that spring we just found. No. <laughs> Wow, this is something, man. It goes all the way down to the heat riser gizmo. Yep. Eh, looks kind of critter infested. It's critter infested, for sure. Wait a minute, are we getting gas? Let's see if it pumps. Give it a pump. 
I don't hear any gas. There's no gas. Oh, this Rochester's. Well, you got the you got it working. I got it working, so that's good. Let me get some WD on it. So you got gas in the carburetor a little bit. We can put a little more in it. Oh brother. I mean, yeah, good. <laughs> okay. You're a funny guy. I know. Why don't we put a little <laughs> gas down it and see if it fires? If it don't, we're going right to coil. Plenty. My goodness. Oh, I metered that out perfectly. Uh huh. I got the fire extinguisher on the wall. Hold it. Okay, next up, coil wire. Don't crank it. Why? Because I'll get lit up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> All right, let's see if that sparks. Go ahead, bump it over. Nope. Peel the cap off. Let's check them points. All right, that's what's next. Yep. What's that look like? It's got some tarnish. Yeah, it does. You know? Yeah. Oh, the rotors come off on these Pop things. that rotor off. Unscrew those two screws. You got it? Some dude, under yep. the screws two to get it off. Yeah, two head screws, yep. Uh, you just lucky you got me around still. I never messed with the GM. <laughs> well, it's time you did. Is it? Yes. You no, know, really, the other one's a Phillips, too. Yeah. Chevy guys can afford parts and I mean tools because their parts are so cheap, you know. Yeah, I know. That's what it's it not is. fair. Of course, this is Chevy guys. Yeah, it is Cadillac. Ooh, what do we got here? What are those things down there that look like points? Well, yeah, that's the points. Can you see them? Can you, see, you want me to crank it and see if it opens and closes and does everything it's supposed to? Yep. All right. Counter says we're not getting 18 thousandths of movement out of those I'm points. Not, I'm not barely seeing them move at all, really. Well, are they in the closed position? Okay, so we're not getting any spark. We tried it, we, we had the key on, we worked the points with a screwdriver. And we're not getting any spark out of the coil, so. All right, I'm gonna do the cardinal sin. Never use sandpaper on points. Unless you don't have a points file. So I'm gonna run some sandpaper through the points, see if we can get some juice in here. I just wiped out the points with some sandpaper. The big no-no, never use sandpaper. Oh, never do that. Never do that. Got power again. See if we get spark, Connor. It's not sandpaper, it's emery. Whoa, that's hot. All right. Now let me button it up and we'll see if we can get this thing to fire. So I put the cap and rotor back on. All right, I think she's gonna fire this time. Let's see what happens. Oh my gosh. Well, it started for a second. Now we're dead again. What do you think that is? It smells like a lot. I did pour a lot of gas and I pumped it a lot. I think uh, <laughs> maybe we ought to get some actual starting fluid just because it'll, it'll, it'll spark off easier. Hmm, maybe. That's my little idea. I think it needs more gas. Well, pour more gas on it. I always like that idea. Okay. <laughs> Say that again. You gave the guy cash at 11.30 and it's 2.30 now. Stop for lunch, Stopped drove it for home. Lunch, drove it home and we chit chatted with at least two groups. Of Mark people. and Kevin both dropped by. Yeah, and we were talking with the guy for a while, so that ain't bad. <laughs> well, I sm I heard fire in the hole, so we, we know we know it triggered once or twice. Yep. That seems like a lot of gas, but hang on, Connor. I wanna put the cap on it quick. Redry? Yeah, give her a shot. Well guys, the caddy almost kicked off, but not quite. So we're gonna have to see what happens. Uh, tune in for the next one and we'll see. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.